What is up, YouTube? Goonigan here, back at it with another My League simulation, or I should say, re-simulation. And today, I'm sure you guys could already tell by the title, by the thumbnail, we're doing Penny Hardaway and Shaquille O'Neal on the Magic. We're doing a resim of what could have been if they stay together, and of course, if a Penny Hardaway uh, didn't injure his his knees, his ankles. He had multiple injuries, sapped away took his powers his abilities took away his athleticism but in the short time that they were together i'm pretty sure they made a couple like conference finals and then one nba finals and that was when the houston rockets won one of their championships if i am not mistaken but right away i've put them in here into today's roster and penny hardaway is starting right away same thing with Shaq. That's what coach wants to do. Vucevic is going to be the sixth man. Markel Fultz is coming off the bench as the eighth man. And this team looks ridiculous because the bench looks ridiculous. Obviously, they're still very young. Rookie selves. In real life, Shaq came in first. And I think a year after, Penny came in. 21-year-old Penny Hardaway and 19-year-old Shaq. On the magic, what is the system proficiency? He likes to run pace and space. Uh, I don't know. But I've done a Shaq re-simulation before. I have not done a Penny Hardaway one. I just want to see his... Okay, he's got two in finishing, one in shooting, five in playmaking, and three in defensive and rebounding. They're going to be... They could have been one of the greatest duos ever if they stuck together and Penny did not get injured as well. So it'd have to be two things that would happen there. First season, Orlando Magic with what is most likely going to be one of the best duos to ever do it. We'll see what they could put up. We'll see how many championships they could get. Drop a like, drop a comment down below. Who would you like to see next? Subscribe if you are new. But here we go. Year one of the Penny and Shaq re-simulation. And they, they're not doing that well. They're not doing that well. I honestly did not expect them to come out and, and destroy season number one. But give us a couple. Give us a couple seasons. Luka off, off rip wins MVP. So are we going to get used to that? Or is Giannis going to start winning everything again? But it's usually in between these two guys. Maybe some random guy in between. But Shaq wins rookie of the year 18 and 9 with two centers off the bench. So I wonder what his minutes are looking like. Six man DeMarcus Cousins. Kawhi Leonard defensive player of the year. Luka Doncic most improved. And Nick Nurse, coach of the year, 59 wins. It looks like we're not going to be in the playoffs. Shaq, of course, all rookie first team alongside Penny Hardaway. No playoff appearance year number one season stats. Is Shaq an all-star in his first season? He wins rookie of the year, but no. Eight total badges. Puts up 18 and 9. Y'all saw that. How many minutes? How many minutes was my boy getting? 31.7 so the two new guys come right in and take the number one and number two scoring spot 17.5 eight assist 1.3 steals inefficient numbers why is Shaq only at 48 percent i have no idea but penny's at 55 percent 32 from three they improve a couple seasons and and they're the one of the best duos in the league right away 15 and 10 off the bench for nikola vucevic okay i'm telling you all the bench i mean the team in general isn't bad it's not going to be a bad core if they keep some of these guys i don't expect them to keep all of them but the fact that i kind of have them on some rookie scale contracts they're they're cheap four-year contract they can make something happen early on will it though who knows 2k my jesus toronto nick nurse champions once again pascal 24 and 7 50 and 40 percent well deserved well deserved greg popovich retires oh wait he usually never retires this early but see you later gregory in the offseason they both go up five overalls um i don't know okay he's at 19 total badges 10 in playmaking God, they're just they're just gonna be amazing i can't wait till they're they're at their peaks and our boy Shaq has 24 he's an 87 overall already year two penny 83 overall um gallinari they signed which honestly i am not mad at that's a super nice signing i don't know how much money they gave him they gave him a four-year contract not horrible but uh, he's gonna be 35 making 20 million dollars jonathan isaac needs to be resigned they drafted killian a's and they still have vucevic bamba false gordon off the bench for a couple more seasons faults might be gone they might resign him i don't know they got to be careful with their money because they got to retain penny hardaway and Shaq. um i'm gonna let them try to do it themselves if they don't 
I'm gonna somehow finesse them to come back or just turn like trade override on and make sure they're here. Year two, I expect an all-star appearance, maybe by both of them, to be honest. And there it is, Giannis back at back winning the MVP. Luca took it one year, Giannis the second, Anthony Edwards rookie of the year, six man Mark Gasol, Kawhi Leonard defensive player, Morant most improved coach of the year, Rick Carlisle. We finished 46 and 36 for a second there. I thought we were going to miss out on the playoffs. I'm hoping we are in the playoffs with that record. Sometimes the East just becomes amazing. No Shaq on an all NBA team, but Penny does make an all NBA third team. Shaq makes an all defensive first team. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. We're, we, see, we're the eighth seed with 46 wins. I'm telling y'all, the East, I don't know where sometimes just gets really good. 23, 10, and two steals does not make an all star appearance. Robbery, first team all defense. He put up 17 and nine. They got to get rid of some of the bigs so he can go ahead and play more minutes. Yeah, he needs to be playing 36 minutes a game. He needs to be playing 36 minutes a game. It's Shaq. Like, come on, get rid of Vucevic, get rid of Mo, and improve any other position but their first playoff appearance. Rinse. They just, they just destroyed the number one seed. Oh, what? And then we get destroyed by the MVP and Giannis, the Greek freak, and he goes all the way to the finals, wins a championship, averages forty and five games, sixty six percent from the field, sixty six percent from the field, forty a game. That's so insane. Vince Carter retires. The Nick, Kyle Korver, Zaza, Udonis Haslam, J.R. Smith, Sean Livingston. Hall of Fame inductees, Vince Carter. Yup, that's who I thought would be there. The just only one that kind of deserves it there. And not getting a lottery pick. Just improvement after improvement. Player progression. Let's check how much they improve this offseason. Last offseason, they went out five. I gave them some training camps. I forgot what training camps, uh, because there's two of them. So I forgot which one I gave to who. But Shaq goes up another. They just keep going up five. They're reaching 99 overalls. Uh, maybe Penny's already 23, though. But I'm expecting it, especially Shaq. Shaq's going to reach 99. We did a simulation of his before. So we'll see where he goes. And then we'll give him training camps. Probably going to be a lot of a higher seed here. And then we'll most definitely go check out some gameplay. Skipping all the way to the end of the season. Season number three, Luka Doncic and and Giannis just gonna be trading MVPs, I guess. And there he is, he wins MVP. K Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Demarcus Cousins, Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player. Nicholas Claxton, Most Improved Coach of the Year. Rick Carlisle. We're 54 and 28, so they're slowly improving, but. I, I, I just want them to be the best already. I want them to be the best. No All-NBA first team. No All-NBA second team except Penny. Yes, he does make that. And where's Shaq? Why is Shaq not out here, man? He keeps making an All-Defensive first team, but he should make an All-NBA team. Give him all the minutes. Trade away our centers. That's all I want to happen. Penny Hardaway's an absolute monster. He's a monster. 27 and 11. He bet yes, I was about to say he better have made a freaking all-star team. And how is that just good for a second team all NBA? Who's putting up more than 27 and 11? And these other guards are ridiculous. The fact that we're on a, on a second team, not a first. Shaq still not an all-star appearance, and he's already on season three. 30 minutes a game. He needs more. He needs more. Like I keep saying, how many minutes is Penny getting? 37 oh, what the frick why are y'all giving him so much and then he got 40 minutes last season okay second seed see if we get past the first round day um were we down 3-0 or 3-1 either way yikes up against boston i'm gonna go game by game and then if it's like a close game seven situation or something like that well we suck we suck but if it's a closed series, uh, it's not a closed series. Uh, I, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. We 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 can't take one at home. One of the first two we couldn't split at least. And then there's no way. There's no way 2K does this, right? I want to look at this. Okay, we're pretty much the same as Kemba. We're probably better than Kemba. Let's face it. Shake Milton versus Marcus Smart. Jalen Brown versus Jonathan Isaac. Tatum versus Gordon. And then Shaq versus Robert Williams. Interesting. Interesting. Take care of that little man, Shaq. Come on. Simulate. Are we really? Simulate with SimCast. I'm hoping it's close. Give less a shake. Give more to Killian. It is whatever. And it's a close game. And it's a close game. I'm jumping in in this fourth. Ten minutes left. We'll see some highlights. See if they get to the uh, conference finals. Their first conference finals. It's only their second year in the playoffs. We're up 95, 93. Easy dunk. Okay. Okay. You just got blocked by like a guy that's 6'8". I'm pretty sure Shaq, so... 
Good rebound. Taco's playing. Is he at the four? I think they have Taco fall at the four. Please give him the ball. I kind of just want to see him go up against Aaron Gordon. Please. Please. He's in the post. He's asking for it. That was honestly really good defense. But whatever. Shake Milton, bring the ball up. Just give it a penny. Just give it a penny. Just give it to... Give it... Give it to Penny. Thank you. Penny, take it back in. Okay, you're kind of ball hogging. I have a, uh, Don't throw the game now. Yo, can we give it a Shaq once, please? I know it's only been like two possessions, but y'all are annoying and can't get past one of your mans. Good block. Go block, Shaq. Let's go, Shaq. I don't know if that was a block by Shaq, but I'm going to give it to Shaq because he was there. So far, what I've been seeing is Penny put up some really, really questionable shots, but uh, Shaq's made a dunk. He's played some solid defense. He, he, he made a 24 second violation happen against Marcus Smart. He blocked him. And uh, but yeah, so far, nothing really in the post for Shaq. Penny's been putting up some like long shots that just there's no reason to and they're like actively trying to throw the game Shaq's gonna have to like get rebounds and put backs and save us and save us or that's gonna happen jonathan isaac give it to Shaq. or not like i said put backs oh okay leads nba in assists we know that oh he i didn't know he led the nba but and he still only made an All-NBA second team. That's kind of nuts. But good pass, Penny. That's like the first time I've actually seen him assist. Uh, but, oh, my. Jonathan Isaac. Give me them cookies. And one. Or I'll take it. At least he made the layup. He's going to take a three. He's cold. There's... How? One minute and 40 seconds left. A couple of our guys are feeling themselves, but Boston's just been getting easy buckets. Shaq, get that block, boy. Get that rebound. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Now run it. Run it. Get the lead. Game set. Oh, he is really feeling. Oh, my. Excuse me. We'll take it. We'll take those. Takes the two-point lead. Go ahead, basket. There is no tomorrow. Penny's wide open. Penny is wide open. What are you doing? He was wide open for a mid-range shot if he wanted it. Now it's Aaron Gordon again. Okay, what's going on? Can we get it to Shaq? Maybe? Maybe get it to Shaq on this roll? Please. We kind of got bailed out. I'm not. We got bailed out. We got bailed out. I... Was it a foul? Was it a foul? I don't know. Oh my gosh, he missed the first one. He missed the first one. He missed two in a... He's getting cut. Cut him. Trade him. Do anything. I don't know if we should have fouled or not. We're going to have... We need to get the... Bo we have one time... Cardiac Kemba. It's over. We'll see. They need a three-point shot. Who do they even give it to? Probably Penny Hardaway. I don't know how great his three-point shot is right now. Sake Milton might be feeling it. But you guys got to set a screen and take a shot. Take a shot. Wide open. Wide open. What kind of defense was that? We'll take it. He made up for his two missed free throws. Kind of. Oh, they gave it to Tatum. Oh. Overtime it is game seven situation. I didn't see that pass. When did that happen? It is definitely over. He just took the most contested three-point shot. We're up six. One minute left. There's no way we choked this, right? We take it to the last like minute was pretty much just going to the free throw line consistently. They pulled through. I want to look at the box score. And 33 and 16 for Shaquille O'Neal. Gordon put up 30 with that huge three uh, to get ahead at one moment. And then Wiss Hardaway, 18 assists. He didn't shoot that well. I noticed that, especially early on. But 18 assists. Everybody contributed. Conference finals it is. Darius Garland, Anthony Edwards. Uh, okay, we're scared of Anthony Edwards. That's it. Uh, and Drummond. Drummond's pretty decent in 2K for sure. Sexton off the bench is a monster. Okay, we're kind of scared. We're kind of scared, but we're going to need to find... No finals appearance. 
Cavaliers versus Mavericks simulate round what happens Luka Doncic takes it here is the team that they've put around Penny and Shaq it hasn't really changed Killian Hayes Jonathan Isaac Aaron Gordon um Jonathan Isaac that guy that could guard multiple positions that can play that defense on your on your toughest opponents Penny Hardaway is an absolute monster his second team uh, he well he depending how long he plays can he beat John Stockton? They have to be re-signed next season. I'm hoping they re-sign both of them. I, I put them on the untouchables list from the start, so I'm hoping they do. But Shaq needs to make an all-star appearance. And then eventually, maybe a defensive player of the year, I would hope. Get rid of Vucevic, please. He's the only center now coming off the bench. Killian, if he improved a little bit more and a bit faster, would be cool. But he's still only 21, so he's got a ways to go. He could probably reach the high 80s. I expect us to just continuously do better, but maybe trade away. Uh, they, they gave another contract to Aaron Gordon, didn't they? They sure did. It's not horrible, but still, yikes. Yikes, Danilo Gallinari still here at his old age. is going to continue to get worse. Anthony Edwards already wins an MVP award. Amoni Bates is Rookie of the Year. Lonzo, sixth man with the Spurs. Is Shaq defensive player like i said i expected this eventually and he got it right when i said it um so we'll take it all defensive of course Shaq makes that and then all nba second penny continues to make all nba second but why is Kyrie? okay never mind i was about to say why is Kyrie ahead of us he's averaging 37 why how when how, what we're the seventh seed, though. I don't know what happened to our squad. I don't know if the coach was giving way too many minutes to Keenan, and he's not really good. But he looks fine. Everything, I don't know. I don't know. I think other teams just have absolutely ridiculous squads top to bottom, while we only truly have maybe three guys that are really solid. So I don't know if we'll ever get a championship. It depends. I, I think eventually later on in their careers, that we'll start doing a lot better because the first... With all these ridiculous drafts that I download, a lot of teams get ridiculously good, and then they kind of evens out once a lot of players start getting worse, and the NBA kind of evens out, so then the teams with, like, a star or two are the ones that end up doing a lot better. Anthony Edwards wins a wins an MVP, wins a championship, finals MVP for himself. What will we ever get there? I don't know. Carmelo, Hall of Famer. Dwight Howard, Hall of Famer. LaMarcus, borderline? I mean, seven-time All-Star. He won a championship in 2023. So maybe they give him it in, in 2K. I don't know. I'm expecting two. I'm expecting two Hall of Famers here. Dwight Howard, Carmelo, Anthony. All right, guys. I think they got a new coach. Dan Burke, and he runs an 11-man rotation. I bleh. You guys know how I feel about 11-man rotations. Maybe that's why we did so bad last season. Penny Hardaway did leave for a second. He signed with Miami, but I just trade over, over road, over writ, over, you know. I brought him back, traded away Vucevic because I'm pretty sure that's what stopped them. I think they hit the hard cap or something if they wanted to bring him back because they had Vucevic's contract and they probably gave Shaq a huge contract. They probably tried matching, but then it probably said, nope, you'd hit the hard cap. And you can't go over the hard cap even if a guy, is, you have his bird rights. But our bench sucks. Why run an 11? I don't know. It has been a minute and we finally reached a finals with this team. Let's just go check out the roster really quickly for you guys. Shaquille O'Neal, Penny Hardaway, Killian Hayes, a 93 overall. Miles Cernan, 89 overall. Looks like they signed him for a season. Mikael Bridges making 24 million. Don't know when they signed him. I haven't really been paying attention. I've just been simulating. I've been simulating. Artie Tig. Where'd this man come from? They got Otto Porter Jr. Let's go look. Are they still, still got the same coach and everything? Yes, running an 11 man, still Dan Burke and Shaq and Penny must be going off. We're finally in the finals. They continue to make teams. Shaq continues to win defensive player. Shaq actually won season one MVP, but then we got locked out like in the first round. So I was kind of mad. Um, and let's go ahead, play game by game, simulate game by game, not play. Oh gosh, what team do they have? 87, 91, 93, 99, Zion, 97, Wiseman, 90, Alice to Tukumpo off the bat. I don't know about this one, guys. I don't know about this one. We are starting a really old Otto Porter Jr. I'm guessing he's really old at this point, but he's still an 85 overall. So we took a game as long as we win the ones at home. And then we were not winning a championship with this duo. This duo is not. It is very late in their careers, like super, super late. Like he might retire. One of them might retire after the season. Shaq's 36. Um, our boy Penny's 37. He's only at an 88. They were both 99s at one point, but they are back in the final. Shaq actually hasn't like stopped 
winning defensive player of the year which is kind of insane but we're back here our point guards better their shooting guards better small forward was the same power forward their power forwards better and then their center shack is still better than them do we get a championship with this duo i honestly thought this duo would get a lot more and it looks like we might it looks like we finally are gonna get a championship no we're not um of course i would have to say something then just jinx it we're up 3-1 do they get it do they get it we're gonna go watch the ceremony if they do it is, is the fourth quarter it is a ridiculously close game put it on fast so i don't skip nobody scored for like two minutes right there what the heck was that okay four minutes left we took it we took it Shaq, penny very very old get a championship and there we have it i was gonna be so sad if penny and Shaq did not get a championship but there he is there he is excited who wins the finals mvp i'm hoping it's Shaq. i don't think it's gonna be penny because penny is a little bit older now a lot bit older and not even in the 90s anymore but there's Shaq. there's the big teasel who is holding it who is holding it yes let's go Shaq box score Shaq put up 19 and 14 penny still put up 15 and 4 at his age and not even getting starter minutes what kind of finals numbers did he put up and by he i mean Shaq because he clearly won finals mvp 18 and 13 with 1.2 steals 1.8 assists 1.6 blocks still 52 percent 36 years old does penny retire Shaq actually has retired before penny i don't see penny out here but here is Shaq. shaquille O'Neal is uh <laughs> thunder i didn't pay attention he got traded this last season he retired he's probably like screw it i'm probably gonna be traded around i'm quitting and then he quit one time nba champ two time mvp 13 time all-star seven time all nba two times second team all nba one time third team defensive player 15 years in a row 15 like that's disgusting 17 time first team all defense rookie of the year first team all rookie let's go look at his numbers he's obviously gonna be in the hall of fame video game Shaq without being like a top elite scorer because i think Shaq was a scoring champ a couple times uh he scores 30,000 30,400 which i think is like 2,000 more than what actual Shaq did now the rebounds is a lot more 19,389 assist i don't see oh we're already seeing penny though and who knows he might climb a little bit more but he's definitely not reaching john stockton lock shaquille o'neal is number one that's why he was like a, a kajillion time all defensive member and defensive player of the year for 15 years straight but they got one championship together they were amazing they were number one seeds continuously and then sometimes they weren't it, it was up and down up and down them individually insane together i don't know they didn't they didn't do much one championship i wouldn't call that a huge success penny retires but with the pacers the magic just didn't give them a contract and now we see if he got any minutes last season he did he got 3.3 assists per game don't know how many games he played of course but nba champion obviously with shaquille 12 time all-star two time second team all nba three uh two time third team all nba and one time all rookie not the career that Shaq had of course still a hall of fame career there he is morant Penny Hardaway, McDaniels, Jason Tatum, Cade Cunningham, all in the Hall of Fame. Penny played a lot, a lot of games. Average 21, 9.4, 1.3 steals. We saw what he did uh, a little bit when Shaq retired. So where does he finish in, in points? Does he, he, he should finish higher than Shaq. He finishes 17th all time, 32,609. That is pretty damn insane penny finishes 47th at all time in three-point shooting um and then free throws made don't care rebounds don't really care assist second second maybe did he steal yes he took that spot i think lonzo was second when we checked and penny was third second all time in assists john stockton still just unreachable i'm gonna do a john stockton sim eventually but there you have an 18 year career for penny it should have been a 17 year career then for Shaq. Only one championship brought to Orlando. I, I expected a lot more, especially with Shaq being such a monster. Penny was the leading scorer for a while of the team, putting up double digit assists, absolute monster careers. Just didn't win much uh, or as much as I thought they would, especially with them together. Drop a like, drop a comment down below. Who would you like to see next? I already have some written down, but if I, if for some reason you changed my mind, subscribe if you are new, turn on post notifications, but as always guys, thanks for watching.